Hello everyone, hello! Sassare here with more! More Golden Sun 2! We are currently in Kibombo, where we just beat, uh... Or got through the, the Colossus, but I'm pretty sure we can go back in. Pretty sure we can go back in and face. Hey, good job back there, that was good. And uh, do this trial to get this magic spell before this other dude can, but maybe not. It's entirely possible that we can't yet. But it's also possible that we can. I like the music down here, it's very, uh... That's not what I wanted to cast. We got we got some better weapons now. Oh, look at that frostbite! I'd like to get a new weapon for him though. Anyway, back there. How was your Tuesday? What'd you get up to? Kind of looks like uh, that should be casting whirlwind. Let's that pound. Okay, that did nothing. Let's make sure scoop went to the right spot. Okay, that did nothing. Let's try... Okay, that did nothing. Also did nothing. So we don't have the spells to get through here, I don't think. I don't think there's anything else, because he has Lash and that. I guess I could try Tremor, though. I don't think that's going to do anything either. Douse might. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe I could fill it with water. No, okay, that didn't do anything. Meh, tried to resist ordering fa fast food and failed. Grinded the lot in Digimon World 2. That's basically it. I tried to resist ordering fast food and I did resist it this time, though I know the struggle. It's also a snowstorm out right now, and I don't like to subject people to, uh... <sighs> I don't like to subject people to go out driving during it, even though I know for some of them it's their livelihood. It's like, oh... Okay, that's great. Bib Dodgy just ruins all my plans. Alright, so I guess we can't do it yet, but, you know, we tried. But, uh, where was I supposed to go otherwise? Does anybody remember? I guess we got the, the jewel now. So we can go back to our boat. Yeah, a sec. Gotta close a program. Okay, sorry about that. Had to close the program. Anyway. Man, you talking about Digimon World has got me uh, interested in going back and finishing Digimon World too. Like, I've beaten Digimon World, no, I didn't beat Digimon World 1, so I gotta beat that too. But I, I know I at least got close on that one. Um, but I never beat Digimon World 2. I got to a certain point, and I don't know how far you are, and I don't want to spoil it, but uh, I don't remember the, the exact specifics of it either. But uh, Digimon World... Oh, you can't even go to the, uh... The mountain anymore? Or is that a separate area? That might actually just be a separate area. 
done here. Anyway. Well, good. I'm glad that happened. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I, I remember a very specific thing happening, and I never got past it. Uh, not because I couldn't. I think it's because my brother's friend took their game back. Oh yeah, like I absolutely do want to play Digimon World 2 again. I remember it being a pretty long game because it is a roguelike. Or very roguelike-ish. Well, that's right, there's a gin here, and now we can get said gin. Oh my god, there's water puddles here. We can use them to get... Guys, check this out. Now that we have peers, we can do this. exciting. Um, I've also beat Digimon World 3. Aha! Okay, cool. Excellent. Let's do it. Hey. Onto the pile, sure. Why am I getting back attacked so often all of a sudden? Anyway, um, why am I getting back attacked by things that are just shredding me with Wind Slash? Fuck you, Pixie. It may be going on the ba uh, pile, but... But that pile, we we made it through quite a few games this year pretty quick. So let me let me add it in there. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much for your suggestion, Vector. I am looking forward to it. Is it possible to see the whole queue? Uh, I don't have it written down somewhere where I wouldn't have to copy and paste the whole thing. I'm not even sure if it's long enough to... won't let me copy and paste the whole thing. Um, yeah, so yeah, I don't currently have it in any place where other than that, but... It's, uh... It's making good progress. We'll, we'll get there. Especially since the only game I got on there that wasn't part of the original queue right now is uh, FF7 Remake DLC, and I decided I'm just gonna New Game Plus it and burn through it. Cast Diamond Dust! Oh. Wild Growth hits him for 79 damage. Oh, that's dead. That's 94. Uh, it doesn't. Um, I've already gone through and played through all of uh, the UV, UV DLC, so I decided, you know what, um, I'll just make it quick and just uh, go through it that way. Uh, I guess no change, but it is it's just a complete stat buff for him. She doesn't get as much stats from it, so I don't want to give that to her. Stay with her. He loses a whole bunch of spells that I want, so no. That's a that, that's a big no. Now if I give him fog, he just got a complete stat boost for it, so I think that was actually worth it. It's considering he's got less. Oh wow, he's got so much more HP now. Um, I'm trying to get him to learn uh, wish. Look, how's it going, buddy? 
But yeah, that, that, that's my choice. If you guys don't want me to just power through the uh, DLC, we could do it that way too. But like, I've already played through it all on my own and figured this is probably the best way to do it. That way I uh, don't spend too much time on it. So if we have to come through here again, we can just use that. Salamander. Tundra. Hurricane. Ow. Oh, yeah, guys. Like I said, I'm only really interested in the story and its DLC. It is good DLC, don't get me wrong. Like, I really liked it. Uh, but, um... I think it would be more fun for you guys if I just... Play it. Uh, play through the story. Alright. So... There's all this shit here. Are those treasure chests gone now? Here I am skipping through it, but, like... Dude, why are my guys so slow? But yeah, I uh, picked this up yesterday, guys. Alright, not yesterday, but I sent, uh... I ordered Bailey some cat food, and I also ordered this, and it came in the mail today. Hey, that's okay, right? Well, Lonk? It'll also be a very quick stream. Like, it, it'll, it'll take one, two, maybe three days at best. A disc axe. It's actually better than what I got. Okay. Well, two, I should have got that earlier. Quiet, Bailey. Oh, and it's be the Stormat sword is better than what he's using, so that, that works out better for all of us. I'm pretty sure there was a treasure chest in here that I couldn't get either. Gorilla. Let's get some MP back before I- oh, okay. A dirge. Frostbite! See you later, dirge! Hey, dudes! Are you excited to get blood work? Ah, oh, shit! Jenna's not level 20 tamer! She mastered the tamer's emu! Now I can harness the power of the emu! <laughs> anyway, uh, so far it's been really awesome, Locke. I, um, like I said, I never got a chance to play this back in the day, so being able to is pretty sick. A tear stone. What the fuck is a tear stone? It's been a wonderful experience. Guys, join Deuce for a boss fight while he's here. I'll join you, Deuce. One of the great benefits of streaming, um, is I get to experience a ton of games that I never got to experience as a kid. Um, and that's been pretty awesome. Alright, what is a tear stone? What is this? Water essence crystal. Forgeable. Oh! Are there craftables in this one? Is that a thing? Right, I can harvest the power of the emu now. Call a giant bird to claw a foe. Alright, let's give it a shot. Emu! Sick. Oh, that did a lot of damage. That was, that was 148 damage! Also, Wild Arm 1, that was picked by Faye, and it's another series that I kind of always wanted to play. Some friends of mine were really interested in it, but they only ever got to play it by renting the game, and it was never for rent in where I lived. So I'm excited to give that a go as well.
Look at that, that one's dead. Power Drive! Yeah, that disc axe is sick. You enjoyed it when you played it? Awesome. That's good to hear. Like, I always th thought the idea of a Wild West RPG would be pretty good, pretty cool. I'm not much into guns or anything, but... Yeah. I don't think that matters too much. I think the game itself, uh, from what I understand, the plot is interesting. The characters are fun. So I think you guys will have fun with it too. Alright. Let's get some MP back. 40 gold? What the fuck is this highway robbery? There was a town worth a uh, Jin that was inside a um, enclosure in the upstairs of a house, but I don't remember where that town was. Yeah, okay, I already got that. The Kibombo. And now that we're back here and we have uh, piers, we'll be able to use his ice to get to some of the areas we couldn't get to in Gondolin Cliffs. So that's pretty cool. Downside is we gotta go through that jump puzzle of rocks again. The fuck is the sound I'm hearing? Why do I hate it? Oh, maybe I got the gin here. I don't remember. I'm not sure what the sound is. The Kraken! Huh? Is there a reason why I'd want up there? I don't think so, but I don't know. Wild Gorilla just got thrashed. Imagine a group of people just meeting up with a Ryo Wild Gorilla and beating the crap out of it. Okay, so that seems to have started. Oh, I can slide down. I'd want to do oh, that's why I'd want to do that. Mushroom. I think it was worth it. Flash ant! It's a flash in the pan! It literally was. It was dead immediately. Alright. Flash! I'll tell you one thing though, the um, creators of this game had an idea, and that idea was how can we get the players to interact with the environment a lot? And by a lot, I mean a lot. And they were like, I know, and then they implemented this system. And it worked! And it doesn't feel at all um, annoying like the, uh, the system in the first game. Or not the first game, but uh, in Breath of the Wild. Not Breath of the Wild, Skyward Sword. I gotta tell you, using the motion controls in that game, I didn't care for them. They're not, they're not the worst. But, trying to get the fucking keys to turn and put in the doors in that game was horrible. Oh, I had such a hard time with that. I'm pretty sure this is just like an easy way up and through, but I wanna check and see if it leads to a treasure chest or something now that we got him in our party. So what do I use healing fungus for? Do I just sell it? Also got that red mushroom in my inventory that I could probably just sell, right? Oh, okay, so this is just a quick way back up to the area. 
I like it. Thank you, Piers. I wonder if that's just going to be the majority of it. I know there's an area in that Sea God Temple where I needed him to proceed. I could have just slid down there. That's right. Ah, that's what it was. The geyser. This dog really likes hanging out by that geyser. Alright, so... It was either in Madra or... I don't think it was in the first town. So it was probably in Madra or maybe Mikasala where that, uh, the djinn was. Interestingly enough, I actually... Oh, let's save our game. May as well. We're here. Interestingly enough, though, I actually have a fair amount of gins already. We're at 13 of them, and I in the first game, I think there were 28, I want to say? So not too bad. You know what's great today, though? I don't have a fucking runny nose. Ah, oh, that was horrible yesterday. But it is snowstorming out, so maybe I'll get sick anyway. Little cat, what are you doing? Yeah, I see you. What are you doing? <laughs> Running in here, apparently. She's gonna come up here all around the side. So there's a house in... Who is that? That is... Kranum! Kranum, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Jump Club. We got a pretty great community. If you like to chat about video games, TV shows, movies, all those things, you're welcome to do so. As we love a lot of things in this channel. And we got a pretty great community. How are we to climb the cliffs between here and Gondolin? If someone would just drop some ropes down from the top, it wouldn't be a problem. My husband relishes those rare mushrooms growing in the Gondolin Glyphs. I wish someone would bring you some back for him. How do I open my menu? There, okay. Item. Do you want this red mushroom? Ah! Shiba uses a laughing fungus. Oh my, is... is that... Is that one of his most favorite mushrooms? No dear, they look similar, but these aren't quite right. Thanks for bringing this by, but it's just not the type of mushroom we like. Please, won't you please try to find the mushrooms my husband loves so much? Ah, yes, of course. He likes the, uh, the one-up mushrooms. This one. Oh my, is, is that? Is that one of his most favorite mushrooms? Did you climb all the way up those cliffs just to get that mushroom for us? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. I have to thank you for this. But what could I have that a warrior like you would want? That's a tricky one. Ah, they're bringing me the Jin. Okay. I don't know if the, you want a pet, but this is all we can offer. Please take care of it. I'll take that. Hell yeah. The Marjini Char. I can't wait for dinner tonight. Better fried mushrooms. Mm. Or batter fried mushrooms. There, well, this here is enough of a mushroom that we'll be eating it for days. How big was that fucking mushroom? Also, you know what I want to try? Um, there uh, is a, some places that make um, like almost burgers out of uh, mushrooms. I think that'd be pretty tasty. Alright, she loses some PP, but she gains so much more stats. 
Unfortunately, she loses a bunch of her spells too, so I don't want her to learn, lose cure and all that. So we're not going to set that to her. Shouldn't gain anything. Do you gain anything from this? I should be experimenting with the different jobs you can make during it, but right now, I'm not having any problems, so I'll experiment a little more when that happens. Actually, to be honest, I'm kind of happy with the uh, job setup that I currently have. As such, though, I am going to transfer these over to you. That way he can use them for extra damage instead of using his MP to, for spells. Uh, and I'm going to sell some of the stuff I don't need anymore. Uh... I guess I don't need this, so I'm going to sell it. I'm gonna pass over some of the some of the nuts I have because he's got eight of them, right? So I gotta tell you, I fucking hate. I don't. I don't like the inventory space in this game. The amount of stuff your characters can hold is dumb. I'd much prefer to have an ambiguously large bag. Is that the only thing I needed in Madra? What am I doing here? Why did I come here? Right! There is more that I can do here. I forgot about that. Okay. Now we can go back down into the Madra catacombs and utilize Piers' uh, spell to make it so that I can get through this place. Maybe. I might still be unable to get through this place. I remember, I gotta go north to, for the boat. Right. Right. This is all well and good, but I don't think I ever found a way to get up here. Like, if I could figure out a way up there, that'd be good. Cause that's in the way. I can't just jump down. There's a treasure chest over here, but not much else. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but it would just be really... Zwera! Thank you for the follow! Welcome, everyone. Welcome! To the Jump Club. This is a pretty great place to chat if you got lots of people to talk to, and uh, we talk about most things here. Welcome, welcome. Fuck you, Rat Soldier. He's dead. He's true and well laid dead. I will pound the fuck out of this. Take that table. 
add insult to injury. Well, welcome, Z! Nice to meet ya. Except for that one thing. Which thing are we referring to? Windrig? Nobody likes to talk about Windrig. Except possibly Windrig. Alright, let's uh, freeze this and maybe there's another way up that I'm just not seeing. Have you played Golden Sun 2, uh, Z? I'm not sure if you know, but Omega is my brother in real life. So I gotta figure out how to get up onto that platform. Play a little bit, you never finish it? I never got to play it because of Omega and my other brothers. Ah, now you know. And knowing is 78% of the battle. to get up there. I don't know. There's gotta be a way up there. I'm just not seeing. You know what? I think I see it. I think I see it. There you go. Faye with the resub! Now we get to eat the bean! 